if you have a commitment to something that you really want to do, that you will find a way. I mean, my mom used to always use this phrase where there's a will, there's a way. And I think I live my life by that. You have Nestle, Folgers, which is Procter & Gamble, and Maxwell House. It was usually the between us and Procter all the time. We went back one and two, one and two. Uh, and it was kind of fun. I love competition. Out of home beverage consumption, particularly coffee, was growing. I think people really didn't uh, grasp how it would grow because people would say, why are you going to pay $3 for a cup of coffee when you can make your own blah, blah, blah. So we started doing things like coffee in a tea bag, you know, to help with portability and convenience, all those things from a product standpoint. But you get to a point and you see the numbers like this isn't going away. Sometimes perceived competition should be looked at as co-opetition. I went out, met with Howard, called, let's talk. Do you think we could ever do anything together? Of course, he's trying to recruit me. I'm like, nope, not leaving, but let's talk about what we can do together. And so it went on for a couple of years, honestly. And when they started trying to sell their own copy through their own distributors through the grocery store, we're like, cool. We'd love to help you do that. Um, we have the relationships with the grocers. We can help you get shelf space. That conversation went forward for a while until we got the place where we could work a contract and end up with a percentage, and it was a win-win for everybody. My boss didn't even think, you're never going to make that work. He's never going to want to do it. I was like, yeah, if we don't have the conversations and try, but we have to build trust first. So we started with some things like helping them with ideas. Our tech guys met with their coffee roasters and we really helped them just in, in our knowledge because we've been doing this roasting thing for years, right? So you don't just go right into it like, I would love you, I want to marry you. But find those places where there's points of commonality where you can help one another. There was a benefit, and that was part of what I had talked with uh, Martin Sorrell about in coming in as a client and starting a whole lexicon around client partners and thinking about building partnerships versus what we wanted to sell to them or what services we, we felt they needed versus listening more. And I have to tell you, as a woman who's been in corporate America her whole life and now serving on many corporate boards, I have had my struggles. No one advances without hitting speed bumps. And sometimes they're bigger than speed bumps. They're big hurdles. But something gives you the strength to move forward.